Hello and welcome along to my review of my large plumbing tool bag. This bag is mainly for large tools I don't carry on my everyday small bag. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a backup bag with all my large bulky tools in it. Um, I've had it for about five years. It was the first bag I ever got. Um, I found over time as I started collecting more and more tools that you need different bags for different jobs, i.e. maintenance, installation, um, soldering, etc. So I then started splitting things into different bags and I found over time this bag became quite heavy with the amount of tools I was adding in, into it and it was really cumbersome carrying upstairs into lofts, etc. like that. So um, I diver diversified and moved into a smaller bag. Um, so let's get back in, get into the bag review. Um, I first bought this bag, I said about five years ago, Stanley Fat Max open tote. It did have a large strap over the top, but I found it to be um, getting away quite a lot. So I may just use the main crossbar. Um, like I said, it just holds all my main um, large bulky tools um, that I don't use that often, but they're there when you need them to pot to the van for whatever purpose you need it for. So let's get into and um, look at the tools that we have inside the bag. In the main front pocket on the front side, we have a small little Baco handsaw, um, brilliant little handsaw. Um, a friend of mine had one, recommended getting one. So I took a buck on his advice. I think it was a 10 quid from B&Q. Brilliant for doing, um, when you need that little bit of um, timber for behind toilets or underneath baths for frames and stuff like that. Um, I do have a larger saw that's on the van, but um, yeah, it's brilliant just for keeping it in the bag. We also have a small magnus and level. Um, use this mainly for when I'm doing rads or um, tile rails, things like that. Um, believe it was a B&Q job for roughly £12 I think, good little level and it's uh, magnetised at the bottom as well. Keep a couple of spare hacksaw blades in here as well, um, just for those high street places, be it wing nuts, be it any bolt or something you need to cut off and you can't get your, um, your saw in there. So that's the front side. Let's whip around and have a look at the back side, front side, whatever you want to call it. Um, tape measure um, is a holding one. Um, cost me, I think, about 10 quid. Um, bought it was on the Prentice. Never let me down. Good bit of kit. Um, yeah, never had a problem with it. You bash it around as much as you want. It's got a rubber outside to it and just never seems to die. Um, small pocket on the side. Um, set of snap off blades for a red knife that I um, reviewed in a previous video. Um, Stanley blades, more Stanley blades, even more Stanley blades, so I won't be running out of them anytime soon. Little 15mm um, pipe slice. Um, this is an Amtec one, it's not the best in the world, it was just a cheap sort of. Um, uh, second uh, pipe slice just to keep in the bag. Um, very rarely use it. It's not brilliant, but it's just hand to in the bag. Um, little pocket on the side here. Um, chuck key, never use it. Um, gas cupboard key. I'm not gas safe registered, but I used to work with a gas engineer and he was forever losing his, so I used to keep one spare anyway. Um, Loads and loads of rad keys, um, forever losing them. Um, you know, just dropping them in different places, falling out of your pocket, you name it. Um, also, I have a little set of flathead and crosshead um, screwdrivers, keyring ones, um, just good for isolation valves, things like that. Yep. Um, also, I have another load of rad keys and just a load of junk in here. Um, rad keys, washers, um, olives, you name it. And just a selection of pencils from somewhere I won't mention. Screw fix. Let's go back to the front side or the back side. 
Um, this is where I have my formers or back guys, whatever you want to call them. Um, 15, 22 mil. Um, I very rarely use my um, pipe bend as it is anyway, because um, I use it, like I said, in the maintenance world. It's all about um, basically just maintenance work, getting in there, um, getting the job done, and then um, moving on to your next job. Um, two packs of uh, junior hacksaw blades, if I need them. Um, also have um, some scratch pads just for pipe, you need to clean paint off or <clears throat> trying to get a fitting on and if you need to clean it up. Also in there, just keep little selection of screws, anything like that, just in case you need them. Let's go around to the back side. Um, this is uh, on the front side. Um, Stanley knife, forged steel one. It's an old one. I've had it years. He's a bit stiff. Probably needs a bit, um, bit WD forty. Um, yeah, I've had this one for donkey's years. Um, got it from a friend of mine, I believe. Um, not sure where I got it from. Uh, another load of pencils. Oh look, some more um, Stanley blades. Uh, another load of small pencils. Um, got a large pencil. Um, Carpenter's one, I believe. Don't use it, but it's there if I need it. Um, another pencil. Forever needing pencils for when you're doing um, <coughs> doing rad valves or um, uh, doing rad. Sorry, marking them up. You name it, you need them. What's we got in there? Um, we have amalgamating tape. Um, I've never actually used this. I've just got it just for the sake of having it, to be honest. Um, there's always other ways around it, but it's there in case I ever need it. Um, these are blades for my silicon scraper. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Um, electric test pen. Um, I think it's dead at the minute. I've got a second one that I uh, keep in the van anyway. But I will be changing the batteries over on that. It cost me uh, 12 quid, I think, from Amazon. Um, I know he's working. Just. Um, yeah, voltage test pen. Just there when you need it. Health and safety, obviously. Um, I believe this was from when I did a tap install. And they s it was for the, the back nut underneath. So I just kept it just in case I needed it. I do have tap spanners. Or back nut spanners if we want to need it, but it's there just in case. Um, we have 10 mil um, open end spanner just for when you need to do drain valves, or um, it's just there if you need it. Um, knife uh, was given to me by a good friend of mine. Uh, it's a bit old; it's getting on for like 25, 30 years old, but it's there when I need it. Um, it's a bit blunt, needs a bit sharpening up, but yep. This thing, one of the best four quids I ever spent. Cheapy little tool shop, brilliant for silicon, scraping on windows, just any generally sticky stuff. I think I've only actually changed the blade once, um, and it was a great, great little buy. Four quid from, like I said, a cheapy little tool shop. Um, Power fix. Um, hex key set, I believe, um, cost six quid as a set of three, I believe, um, from Audi or Lidl. Not a bad little brand. Um, another key set came as part of a three. Um, rad valve key, um, cost like four or five quid from Amazon. Get a lot of my stuff on Amazon, like I say. Um, but yeah. It's there when you need it. I do have a spare as well. Um, small micro bore. Let me get it out. Uh, small micro bore um, pipe cutter. Only ever used it once. It's there when I need it. Um, probably needs a bit of uh, bit of WD forty, but um, yeah, it's there when I need it. And that's the outside. Let's get into the inside main part of the bag. Um, these <clears throat> plastic pipe cutters 
Rothenberg ones. They cost me, um, I had a friend of mine who had a friend who used to work for Rothenberg and they were getting, Rothenberger, sorry, getting rid of them. And he said, oh, do you, do you want a set for a cheaper price? Thought, yeah, why not? Um, I think the retail at 30 quid, I got them for 15. So um, yeah, use them for my PVC. Um, or um, speed fit, hep 2 o um, poly plum, you name it. Um, got a cheaper little set. Uh, these were seven quid, I think. They're just as like a second secondary set, back up if I need them. Um, Gorilla tape. That's what it says on the tin. Brilliant stuff. There when you need it. Um, gets you out of shit a lot of times. Um, large, um, six to 68 mil, um, adjustable spanner. I mainly use this one for when I do siphons or flush valves. Um, they're brilliant for getting those nuts off, you know, the large ones, um, on the back side. Absolutely fantastic. I think cost me, uh, 12 quid, maybe cheaper than that from... It's a bit rattly, but I said I don't use it for, you know, compression nuts or anything like that. It is mainly just for those large nuts for toilets. Same as you getting your um, <clears throat> your grips and stuff on them. And if you need to, you can always stick a pry bar on it. Um, something through the end to get that bit of extra torque around. Um, but yeah, from Amazon again. Lovely, that great little tool. Um, a boat level, I believe. Um, magnetized one, um, quite weighty. Very rarely use it because I've got another small one anyway. Um, yeah, mainly just use it. For, well, it's just like a little secondary one. Um, keeping the bag and it's there if you need it. Um, one of these extendable mirrors. Um, brilliant little thing um, for looking down the back of baths. Um, you know, hard to reach places. It's got a little light on it as well. Um, I believe it's... Um, Amtec or Decton, got it from B&M for, like I said, about three, four, yeah, Decton one, for about four quid, five quid, something like that, I think. Um, magnet, really, really, really brilliant thing. Um, extends out to about three quarters of a metre. Um, just when you lose screws down the back of somewhere or little grub screws or anything like that, it's a great little thing for. Um... Metal rulers, two of them. Mainly just using one and doing um, rads, um, just for marking and everything else. Cost a couple of quid each, I think. Um, chisel. Um, yeah, it seems some wear and tear. Ends where it's a bit bent and wonky. Um, I think it cost me about five, five, ten quid, something like that. Um, seen plenty of uh, plenty of use. Floorboards. Um, just smashing shit up, basically. Um, bit of a prying, kind of like screw dry, screw remover. Um, bought it for a quid, I think. Never used it. You can use it as a back of a like a back of a hammer if you like. Um, Fat Max um, floorboard tool pry bar thingy. Um, great little bit of kit. You can use it as a hammer. Um, pry both ends. I mainly just use it for doing floorboards when I'm um, piping up rads and stuff like that. I think it cost me 12 quid. I've had it years. Plenty of wear and tear. Great, great, great little tool. Um, got a Allen Key set. Um, not the best, just a cheapy little one. I believe it cost me about eight quid. Um, got all the ones I need. Um, yeah, brilliant. So all the tools I've still got out, I've still got a load more tools in there, and you can see why it's um, it is bloody heavy. Let me just mention on top as well. Um, I've got these pull-off straps that you can mainly use for, I think, for like levels and stuff like that when you walk into jobs. But I keep PTFE on it, and um, got electrical tape, red, blue, for you know tagging hot and colds on underneath basins and stuff like that. Um, right, let's get into the rest of these tools. Side there, um, long reach screwdriver. Um, yeah, it's there if you need it. Um, a couple of quid again, I think. 
Um, these are a lot of the ones I when I first started my toolkit years ago that I was buying sort of the cheaper end tools and they wouldn't last long, but they're all right to just have you know have lying around. Um, as I've gone in through my career and stuff like that, you start spending a bit more on um, better quality tools, um, just because it's like anything you pay better money, you pay more money for something, you get better quality than you. Um, for a screwdriver, JCB one, I think I got it. Screw fix or B and Q for fifty p something like that. It's there. It's just for using, uh, smashing up, wrecking things. You name it. Um, hex screwdriver set, McAllister one, or just sort of hex screwdriver. Um, not hex one, Torx rather. Um, yeah, it's a uh, ten mil, twelve mil, something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't really use it. Um, file. Always need a file. Chamfering for waste pipe, for deburring things, you name it. Yeah, it's there when you need it. Large flathead screwdriver. This thing I've used for smashing stuff up. Um, just great screwdriver. Draper one, I think, cost me about eight quid. Um, yeah, brilliant. Nice fat end on it as well. Uh, another long reach screwdriver. Um, like I said, again, in the beginning, I was just buying cheap little tools just to get my, because um, that's all you, could, all you could really afford as an apprentice or starting out the industry. Um, but yeah, they just, you know, they last, they do a job. As soon as they snap, buy another one or just invest in better. Um, on the other side, um, no cheap, crappy screwdriver. Seen better days, obviously. Um, just keep it there for just smashing stuff. Um, flat screwdriver. Can't remember where I got it from. I think I found it underneath a floorboard somewhere. Um, yep. Um, Maxon screwdriver, VDE one. Um, I had this in my main tool bag. Um, but these are the VDE ones. I've now got a four-in-one screwdriver, so I don't really need these ones. Um, these, that one... Uh, and this one, I believe, came as part of a set with, with um, some uh, pliers, long nose, and uh, normal ones um, for about 35 quid. Um, and yeah, um, another screwdriver, um, just loads of screwdrivers. Always needs loads of screwdrivers, just keep them around when you need them. Um, main tools in the compartment are... Um, strap wrench or a rubber boa, some people call it. Um, brilliant for doing water filters or um, just tightening around things that you can't shift with your hands or anything like that. Cost about five quid, I think. Um, plunger, mainly bought this because I needed it for a picture with my um, I was doing my MVQ work a few years back. Um, Rothenberger one, probably about seven, eight quid. Um, yeah, does what a plunger does. Stanley Axor. Absolutely brilliant. Got it for about 15 quid. Um, still does the job I need to do. Change the blades once every couple of years. Um, just brilliant. I don't know. Works well for me. Um, yeah. Um, pad saw, drywall saw, whatever you want to call it, Stanley one. Um, I'm not going to take it out because it's covered in crap. Um, but yeah, another Fat Max one. Do you have a lot of Fat Max tools? Um, they are, for me, middle of the range. They're good, they're decent, they're solid, durable, hard wearing. Um, they're all more expensive ones on the market, but like you said, you pay for what you get, don't you? Stilson. I think this is a 18 inch. Um, a friend of mine accidentally ordered two of them, um, and he said, "Oh, do you want uh, do you want the spare one I got?" Because he couldn't send it back. So um, I took it off him. I've never used it. Uh, probably never will use it because in the UK we don't generally use Stilsons or um, these big pipe wrenches because we mainly use sort of grips and spanners and stuff. It's mainly I think kind of the American market use it a lot more. Um, 
But yeah, it's there if I need it. Um, like I said, you can tell how, how clean it is. It's just never use it. Just never never needed to. Um, hammer. Um, just a cheapy one. Cost me five, 10 quid, something like that. Does what I needed to do. When I need, when it breaks, I buy a better one, but it's all right for the minute. So, yeah, got it from tool shop. Just that's what I need to do. Um, rubber mallet, just for when you need to shower trays and stuff like that. When you want to, you know, want to smash it up, you've got to be careful. Certain things, profiles, you name it. Yeah. Um, absolutely loathe this thing. It's Every plumber needs one. Um, never use it. It's just a piece of crap. Um, the jaw, I can never get on with it. It's just a nuisance. It works. It's fine. You know, it's there if I need it. But I never really need it. So I just... Ugh, I don't know. I, just, I don't know why. I, I just... It's just a nuisance. This, this end up here. It just catches. It falls off the time. You know, it's just a pain in the ass trying to get onto those half inch or three quarter inch nuts when you're doing a basin or when you're just doing something like that. It's just a pain in the ass. So I try and use this as little as possible. Uh, crow's foot or, um, yeah, crow's foot. Um, Rolson one. I've only had this for about six months. Never used it. There if I need it. 22, 15 on one side. Yeah, it's there if I need it. Um, lump hammer. Uh, bought it from Lidl or Audi or something like that. It's there if I need it. It's rusty. It's a lump hammer. What does a lump hammer do? Smashes crap up. So yeah, that's what I needed to do. Um, what is this thing called again? It escaped me. Um, cold chisel, cold saw chisel. What do you want to call it? Um, yeah. Use it plenty of times. Use it when you're kind of like chasing walls out or um, if you want to find leaks in concrete floors and stuff like that. Um, bought it for about 10 quid, I think. Stubby screwdriver, quid. Another stubby screwdriver, quid. Massive pair of grips. they crap. I think they cost me about eight quid. Never use them. Just use them as like a shitty backup pair. Probably never will use them, so you know, they're there if I need them. Uh, set square, or whatever you want to call it. Um, use it for when I'm measuring stuff. Um, cutting wood, you name it, it's there. 10 quid, I think it was. Um, split angled ruler. Um, got the idea from college. Cost me about eight, eight quid, Amazon. Never used it, but it's there if I need it. Um, wire brush, clean the shit down. That's what it says. Um, small stop tap key. Got a larger one, larger one in the van for those hard to reach ones. This one, small one for just when I need it. Random 17 mil um, socket nut. Another random 11 sixteenths, bloody American sizes. Um, 22 mil pipe slice, um, crappy Amtec one. Sarah, if I need it, got two other ones, but Sarah, if I need it. This one is a decent one, 28 mil monument one, nice and heavy, bulky. Very rarely do, um, I don't do cylinder work. Um, but we'll look to in the future. But I got a 28 mil just in case I needed it. And oh look, another little stubby screwdriver that I've got plenty of. And that completes, and that is everything in my large tool bag. Um, if you've got any um, questions or anything, please leave them in the comments. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I will have uh, I've got other ideas and stuff I want to leave reviews for. But um, yeah, give it a like. If you don't, don't like it, don't watch it. Same with ours. This is the day in my, um, this is my large tool bag, day in the life of a kind of, you know, maintenance plumber, if you like. Cheers.